The officials are still learning more and more about coronavirus in humans and pets. The CDC is recommending that people limit interactions between their pets and people or animals outside of the household. Based on the limited information available to date, the risk of animals spreading COVID-19 to people, as we've heard, is considered to be low. But it appears that it can spread from people to animals in some situations. Joining us now is veterinarian and hospital owner at Critter Fixer Veterinary in Bonaire, Georgia, is Bernard Hodges. Hello, Dr. Hodges. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good. Good. Uh, we're very uh, worried to hear about animals getting infected from this uh, virus. Uh, what can you tell us about if animals can die from this and, and what type of protection there is? I definitely, it definitely is something that uh, is on all of our minds. When, the, when this pande pandemic originally started, you know, we were getting bombarded with questions and we are, you know, pretty much every day, like, we're not, you know, so, but we also stand really uh, in touch with our local uh, Georgia Veterinary Medical Association, as well as the American Veterinary Medical Association. And we're, we're also talking about tests because recently, until recently, there, there weren't much uh, access to tests for pets as well. Um, now, if we do suspect the case, we can contact the, lo the local, uh, here in Georgia, the Georgia State Veterinarian, and uh, we can request tests. But it's a very uh, fluid situation. It's changing daily. You know, every morning I wake up, we get uh, information from, from the Veterinary Medical Association telling us this has happened now. So as of right now, there are definitely evidence that people can transmit um, COVID-19 to pets, but Fortunately, and right now, we aren't thinking that it can go the other way. And, and doctor, if I'm not mistaken, Bonaire is right near Warner Robins, is that right? It's right Warner Robins, Georgia, yes, sir. Okay, so you're used to dealing with animals on the farm and on ranches and things like that. What are your concerns about uh, those particular animals and livestock? Uh, definitely, you know, um, you know, that with the, uh, you know, agriculture and it being a big thing here in the South, we definitely have our concerns. Um, I go out and I see many different farm animals from alpacas to cows and, you know, I am, and horses. And I am talking to, to those clients as well. And um, that definitely is a concern because, you know, it's, it's not, you know, it's our food sources as well. So, but right now, you know, we, we haven't found any, any uh, evidence that it can be transferred, transferred from those low, those farm animals back to people. So, but there are concerns, you know, every day. Is there a way to take your pet's temperature, like say it's a dog or a cat, just to see if they have a high temperature or a fever? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, pets' temperature are normally a little bit higher than ours anyway. Uh, no, and, and that's a normal higher end of the, the um, spectrum. But they can take temperatures uh, both rectally and as well as ear temps to kind of see these cats, from what I understand, uh, were showing some respiratory signs, but you know, I, so you kind of want to, I guess, some things you might want to look at if if your animal is showing some respiratory signs, and there's a person in the house that uh, does have COVID-19 or possibly exposed, then maybe we want may want to test and see what is going on. But you know, the big thing is just practice good common sense, washing your hand making sure that you don't take your pets to a park or, you know, if you are going to walk them, make sure that you walk them on the leash so they aren't exposed to other people and other people's pets. What, one more quick thing while we have you, doctor. What about people that are trying to get rescue animals and what should they look for and what are those rescue agencies doing to protect the pets and the people who adopt them? Well, I work with a local animal shelter here um, and what they are doing, they're not allowing people actually in inside of the the actual shelter and i think most shelters are doing that and we're doing it at our veterinary hospital as well we don't allow allow people in the building to to expose so you know you have to go outside and and kind of get the pet or see but the biggest thing is i would look for respiratory signs like coughing just like with people or eyes eye drainage and things like that but you know i would be just just you know just practice good prudent health and and uh cleanliness i think you'd be okay and one more time, what was the temperature you said that was higher? Uh, pets, uh, dogs or cats, temperature can, a higher end can be around 102 to 102.5. So don't be alarmed if you take your pet's temperature and it's 102 degrees because 
that's that's on the upper end that's and that's normal for a dog and a cat great wonderful well thank you so much we appreciate that we all want to make sure our pets are safe during this difficult time as well thank you all right thank you nice dog all right thank you <laughs>